எல்லாவருக்கும் நமஸ்காரா வணக்கம் டு யூ ஆல் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கேதரிங் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் என் ஹிஸ்டாரிக்கல் ஈவெண்ட் இன் த ஃபிஷரி செக்டார் டுடே அவர் ஹானரபிள் சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் ஸ்ரீ பொம்மைஜி அட்ரஸ்டு இந்த மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் கேதரிங் ஹவு த கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா is taking forward to this fishery department and how we are improving and developing in the fishery sector he mentioned and today a whole day sessions was there technical sessions was there and our minister sri angara ji spoke about karnataka fisheries department achievements friends i want to make some few points about our government of india under the dynamic leadership prime minister sri narendra modi ji how this country is taking forward and this fisherman welfare and fisheries development friends you know that before 2014 in this fishery sector there was only few thousand crore meager 3000 crore investment was there from the independence to 2014 after our prime minister sri narendra modi ji came to the prime minister first time he launched blue revolution scheme for that blue revolution scheme 5000 crores investment at the first time in 2015 for the infrastructure in the fisheries sector and simultaneously fisheries infrastructure development fund almost 7500 crore investment in that field in that 7500 crore developing of fishing harbors landing centers cold storages and as well as modernizing modernization of fish markets brought up this fisheries infrastructure development scheme we know that covid 19 came up whole world is affected here also affected so prime minister sri narendra modi ji brought up atmanirbhar bharat scheme under atmanirbhar bharat pmmsy pradhan mandri matsya samadha yojana first time 20000 crore investment in this field so total this 8 years 2014 to 2022 in this fishery sector 32500 crore investment in this field to develop the fishery sector and to improve our fishing exports also friends i am happy to tell that how our karnataka double engine government in the central our prime minister sri narendra modi ji is supporting as well as our state our chief minister honorable sri bommai ji and our angara ji so the double engine government how taking forward in this we have a long coastal line almost 300 crore sorry 300 kilometer uh, length long coastal is there in this coastal we have fisheries activities and also this wide range of marine as well as inland aquatic aqua resources are there that's why today this all our farmers are gathering here in this inland farmers so the department of fisheries and animal husbandry has taken several initiatives to supplement the effort of the government of karnataka to develop fisheries throughout the schemes like i in 2015 16 i told that 5000 crore invested in the blue revolution in karnataka government of india invested 175 crore under the blue revolution scheme of 2015 and 16 i swell as prime minister matsya samadha yojana the total investment in this field 725 crore in this central sector 
सेंट्रल रिलीज टू टू द कर्नाटका ऑलरेडी वे रिलीज एंड आई कैन टेल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वी अनाउंस्ड इन द बजेट फाइव फिशिंग हार्बर्स हेज टू बी अपग्रेड एंड एज वेल एज इज दि मॉडर्नाइजिंग फिशिंग हार्बर इन द इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड वन इज इन कोचिन वन इज इन चेन्नई वन इज इन पारादीप वन इज इन विशाखपटनम इन दट वे now recently we announced 250 crore worth fishing harbor at uttar karnataka manjali already approved and the government has given clearance to this fishing harbor so mangalore fishing harbor phase 3 expand 53 crore phase 2 expansion of gangoli fishing harbor and expansion of alve kodi and tenjinagudi fishing landing centers also so this fish landing centers and fishing harbors development of fishing harbors and modernizing of the fishing harbors to compete to grow the world level and hygienic fishes has to be we can give it up to the national international level and also i am happily Share with you 114 new deep sea vessels. They are converted to the traditional boats. It is in deep fishing vessels. It is in worth 136 crore. Traditional uh, fisherman has been sanctioned under PMMS by already this amount also sanctioned to the Karnataka. So livelihood and neutral nutritional support provided. 68420 families of the tra traditional fisher families worth central fund released 10 crore for them the banning period compensation also provided to this government of karnataka and as well as already this award is i want to congratulate the award is those who got the awards here they are all good and best practice they are following i want to congratulate to them my best wishes to them they are following good practice as well as inclusion of the technology bioflux rac and like new technologies they are implementing for that the farmers they are getting more income in this sector so friends the seaweed is the new area in our central government last year budget we announced the new multi functional seaweed park has to be established for that purpose in tamil nadu we had sanctioned one new seaweed park as well as of karnataka 10000 seaweed culture rafts and monoline 21000 tubeland sanction uh, tube mono monoline and tubeland sanction to the karnataka and promotion of aquaculture is taken up in a big way and huge way in this 1863 hectare and total investment 122 crore is approved karnataka under the pmmsy scheme and this pmmsy is emphasize for the post production ice cold storages ice factories the because of the this is highly preserved and for that the cold chain facilities very important here 62 new ice plant and cold storage as as sanction and modernization of 32 existing ice plants also and 799 units of fish transport vessels and one fish retail market 84 fish yachts and three value added entrepreneurs unit a total investment of 133 crore has been supported under the pmmsy for the karnataka already i mentioned technical 
innovative aquaculture activities like rac reservoir cages in this total investment 133 crore has been sanctioned for karnataka under the pmmsy apart from that how the kisan farmers are getting kisan credit card the same facility kisan credit card facility has already extended to the all traditional fishermen and those who involve in the fisheries activities and the fish farmers they are covered under the kcc kisan credit card for the facilities uh, for the facility uh, for the promote of the fishermen so the karnataka is increasing day by day after this pmmsy i want to congratulate the karnataka government because last year 2019 and 20 our production was 6 lakhs 8 6.80 lakhs ton in 2021 our production was is 10 lakhs 10.74 lakh ton the growth is increased 76 percentage so i congratulate the team of karnataka so we are increased our promotion and our export and our production so i want to give another one important data to this how we are in our government is playing a major role in the fishery sector friends india the fish production increased from 102 lakh ton to the highest 161 lakh ton in 21 22 the fishery sector grew of an average annual growth rate 10% increased in the last 5 years among all agriculture and allied sector the fisheries offers highest return and constitute the highest share 17 to 18 percentage of agri export india is the biggest shrimp producer and exporter because of all of farmers the effect we are the number one number it is a biggest exporter in the shrimp exporter of second largest aquaculture producer in the world all of our indian farmers particularly andhra karnataka and all the state farmers for them contribution we are leading number 2 in the aquaculture product the worldwide fish production we are the third largest country and fourth largest exporter of fish and fisheries product in the world so and our prime minister's dream under atmanirbhar bharat vocal for local make in india made in india we are leading and we are playing a major role in the exports friends we know that corona time all sectors the worldwide there was an stagnation was there instead of the corona our fish export has increased 32 percentage because of the farmers our your involvement your contribution your hard work that today we are leading in this sector so our government is providing pmmsy scheme fisheries infrastructure development scheme as well as uh, our state government schemes and also i uh, finally i have to thank our karnataka i want to congratulate matsya vagni scheme the karnataka government brought up a new scheme for the promotion of the fishes in the urban area so they want to promote uh, in the urban centers for that they want uh, mobile market the government of india is sanctioned 300 mobile units eco friendly nows each 8 lakhs worth so total cost is 25 crore already we uh, sanctioned for the karnataka government so i am happily announced uh, happily share with you so the government of india and the government of karnataka the double engine government is taking forward to the sector we will lead the world and we will our products will lead the world under atmanirbhar bharat 
make in india made in india of the efforts of fish farmers and fishermen of the country thank you thank you very much jai hind jai bharat